Hey everyone, so I'm back again for another video. Uh, this time around I have part 2 of my PS2 collection. Uh, if you haven't seen part 1, I'll have it linked somewhere here for you. And you can go ahead and watch that first, or it doesn't really matter if you watch it out of order, just uh, watch whatever you feel like watching first. Uh, everything's going to be in alphabetical order, as I mentioned in the previous video, and this time around I'm going to be looking at uh, the games starting with uh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and going all the way to Guitar Hero, so half of halfway into D, uh, going to G. So uh, let's get into it. So first off, of course, like I said, Dragon Ball Z. I don't have all the Dragon Ball Z games on the PS2, but I have uh, these four. They're all fighting games, of course, and I absolutely love Dragon Ball Z. It was one of my favorite shows growing up, and. Uh, this is what I have. So first I have Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Then I have Budokai 2. I also have this on the GameCube. Budokai 3. And Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Uh, I can't say that I've ever played this one here. I have played all of the uh, Budokai games, but I really don't think I've played any of the Budokai Tenkaichi games yet. But they're more or less the same. Next is Enter the Matrix. I can't say that I've played this either, and I don't know how uh, soon I'll be getting into this game, just because, to admit it, I wasn't really a fan of the Matrix, and I only got this game because it was dirt cheap at EB Games, and I thought, why not, since I'm trying to go for a complete PS2 collection, more or less. Uh, next is Fatal Fury Battleground, uh, sorry, Battle Archives Volume 1. It's a Fatal Fury uh, collection game, and it's made by SNK, of course. And, uh, yep, yeah, Fatal Fury, fighting game series, love fighting games, so I had to get this. I also love collection games, so, again, I had to get this. Next are the Final Fantasies, and sorry about those notifications. <sighs> So, first here is Final Fantasy X. Could go on for days about these games, but most of you know the stories already. And then Final Fantasy XII, I have XII and the Collector's Edition, but I don't have X, II, or XI, because XI was online, uh, and I don't really want to bother with that. Next up is a Disney licensed game, Finding Nemo. Love the movie. Felt like I, I had to get the game, just, it wasn't disappointing, but it wasn't really worth playing that much. Next, also from an anime that I really like, uh, this game is Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. Anytime that I see a video game based on an anime I like, or a manga, I have to go ahead and get the game. Next is Gauntlet uh, Dark Legacy. Have not played this one yet. Uh, should get around to this Gauntlet game, but I have been playing Gauntlet uh, Gauntlet Legends for the uh, N64. Uh, the Getaway. I got this game when I was actually about uh, 12 or 13 years old, I believe. I think I was 13. Uh, it was an age-inappropriate game, but I didn't really care, because most of the games back then I would play uh, for as long as I could in one sitting, and then that was it, because I didn't have a memory card for the first few years that I had uh, my PlayStation. Kind of sucky, but that's just how it was. Uh, next up, God of War and God of War 2. Just blood and gore fest there. And a game that I find way too often, and I absolutely hate that I find it as often as I do, uh, it's Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. I have both the Black Label and the Greatest Hits edition. This one I actually had since I was a kid, and I loved how the game looked, but I didn't really like playing it all that often just because I didn't, I didn't want to bother picking through all the cars. I, I always preferred and still prefer sort of cartoony kart racers instead of like uh, overly realistic uh, racing games. Next up 
the Grand Theft Auto series, the Grand Theft Auto PS2 games that I own. I don't have all of them. In fact, I only have three of them. Uh, first is Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, then I have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And again, these were games that, when I was playing them, I would always start at the beginning again. So I never really f finished the games or even saw the later on missions. I would play at the most uh, two to three hours of it, and then I'd have to just turn it off because I couldn't play anymore. And I didn't have a memory card because I was a stupid kid. Uh, next is Guilty Gear XX Accent Core, and this one here is sealed, so can't say much about it. It's a fighting game, though, and I got it for five bucks, so I thought it might as well. And then the countless Guitar Heroes that I game, uh, Guitar Hero games that I have. I don't know what that, what I was trying to say there. Anyways, um, first up is Guitar Hero. Then there's Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Guitar Hero Smash Hits, and Guitar Hero World Tour. Now the um, Aerosmith version is the one that I have complete in box with the guitar. Um, and the only other uh, complete version that I have is for the 360. And that's actually the version that I played more so. Anyways, that's the end of part two. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Uh, if you think there are any games that I mentioned that I haven't played yet that you think I should start playing, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try putting that higher up on my list of uh, games to play. Uh, any other comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, just leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. Um, yeah. Look out for part three and for subsequent parts after that. And uh, that's about it. See ya.